Minecraft, the game that changed the world, literally. Pretty much everything and anything you can imagine has been built or replicated in Minecraft. The countless creations, mods, and game modes which have been created are undeniably impressive, and they have left a major impact on many of us, whether we realize it or not. So today I'll be diving into why Minecraft will not die in 2023, and why I think it will personally never die. Let's get into the video. So reason number one why I believe Minecraft will never die is because of the variety of game modes which exist. Even in the last five years, we have seen some of the most popular game modes come out. Things like Bed Wars, Skyblock, or even Modded Survival have completely hooked new players into playing the game and then trying out other game modes. It's truly the game that has something for everyone. There truly is an endless amount of possibilities in terms of what you want to do. If you feel like PvPing, well then you can go on a server which is very easily accessible to you, like Hypixel. And if you want to start a small world with your friends, you can do that too. The point is, Minecraft has something for everyone. Reason number two why I think Minecraft will never die is that it is a very therapeutic game. Now let's talk about what I mean by this. In my personal experience, Minecraft has been an escape for me. There's something about peacefully playing in maybe a survival world or even on a server or even parkour that is just therapeutic. And this isn't even limited by age. It truly can take any form that you can pretty much imagine and serve as therapy for everyone. Whether that be through creative building, doing a parkour map, or even just strip mining in survival. It really does provide an escape into a completely endless world which is only limited by your imagination. Minecraft's timing. It's sad to say, but I think Minecraft is likely out of its prime. However, it is still one of the most successful games of all time, and is still being constantly improved, updated, and modded. And speaking of Minecraft's prime, I may be a little biased, but Minecraft's peak came at a time that many hold dear to their heart and are very nostalgic about. Like I said, I might be a little biased because that was my childhood when I first discovered Minecraft, but its peak being around the early 2010s, like 2012, it was undeniably a simpler time with not as much technology like TikTok and social media like Instagram, as well as all this conflict that we see in today's world. Most people who have played Minecraft for a while only have positive memories towards it. The negative memories that we may even have are completely clouded by the positive memories and experiences we have made since Minecraft's release. And speaking of Minecraft memories, it's important to mention the content of Minecraft. Minecraft absolutely blew up on YouTube and took the world by storm, with countless creators making content. And this actually led to a major oversaturation of Minecraft content on YouTube. But this has honestly benefited Minecraft and its online community. The overwhelming amount of content on Minecraft has led to there being countless distinct Minecraft sub-communities and niches that many people identify themselves with. With. So whether you're really big on parkour like I was back in the day, or heavily interested in modding the game, there is something for you to do and there is a community who is willing to talk about it with you. On the topic of communities, the reason Minecraft's community is so large is because of how extremely easy it is to learn. I know you've seen four-year-olds playing Minecraft wearing the merch, but you've also probably seen full-grown adults online playing it. It truly does have something for everyone. One streamer who I followed for a while, her name is Bacon Mom, is obviously not your typical 12 year old PvPer, and she has been playing Minecraft for a while and enjoying it for quite a while. And I say this not to bash on her or anything, but I am sure Minecraft was easier to pick up and learn for her as opposed to a game like Valorant or something intense like Overwatch. And my last reason as to why Minecraft will never die is that Minecraft is an awesome game. It's an open world sandbox which allows users to modify the game to constantly create new content and add on to the base game. It's a game where we are only limited by our imagination. It's a game that allowed us to meet many of our close friends. This may be just me. 
but Minecraft allowed me to meet one of my best friends who I only recently got to meet in person after 8 years of knowing him. It's a game that allows creators to share their impressive builds which represent their dedication, creativity, and passion. It's a game that has led to hundreds of skits, parodies, music videos, and an entire community that is one of the strongest, most loyal communities I have ever witnessed. And as I mentioned earlier, it's a game for all ages. You truly can do whatever you want. So as 2023 continues to roll around and we get older and older and continue to grow up, I believe that Minecraft will continue to grow up with us and always stay close to our heart and offer a great unique experience for whoever decides to play. That's all I have for you guys today so make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out for the YouTube algorithm. Cheers to 2023 and cheers to Minecraft my friends. My name is Cold Lefty and you guys have a good one.